What's up, YouTube? I'm Brett from Rancher Us. As always, with me is my co host here on Rancher Us, Lance. Say hi, Lance. Hey, guys. As always, guys, if y'all enjoy our content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. We're on the road to 1,000. We hope you guys will help us get there. All right, so uh, today we're going to do a um, expectations for season three of Mayans MC. So, what do you? Uh, what is your expectations for this? Like, like I mean, what are you most looking forward to, and how do you think you know? How do you think this season's going to go down, basically? I, me, I, I look forward to finding out exactly where uh, Sons of Anarchy is going to stand with Mayans after the way they ended season two by them accidentally killing a member of Sons of Anarchy. Who do you think? Is, who do you actually think it was that they killed? Uh, I don't remember his name. Uh, you know, I don't. I don't actually think. I don't think it'll be anybody that we know. Uh, it was. It was. It was that guy. Uh, uh, I forget. Yeah, I know which guy yeah. you're talking about. I can't remember his name. He came in with. Uh, uh, I think he is he their sergeant of arms or something along those lines. Something like that. Something like uh, that. But yeah, I mean, he. I see. I don't. You think it'll be actually him? I do think it was him. All right. Yeah. See. See. With me, I don't actually think it's going to be anybody that we know, and I'll tell you the reason why. Because if it was somebody that we actually knew, um, I think that would be a little too devastating. That would be a little bit. That no. Yeah. It's not gonna. It, it's definitely wasn't like one of the fan favorites. No. It wasn't you know, happy, that, and it wasn't uh, gonna be. Yeah. Uh, Chibs or, or anybody like, like that. You know. I'll admit, I kind of there for a long time thought it was going to probably be Chibs. Like I really did. I thought. Oh, I see. Man. I think that I think that Chibs is gonna be the main mm -hmm. antagonist in this. Are you looking forward to that, or is is it just my nostalgia part uh, of Sons of Anarchy that that's ruining me on it? It makes me think. Oh, I don't really know if I'm excited about seeing Chibs maybe as an antagonist. See, I. I actually am looking forward to that part. I know that we're different in that regards. Like you don't like shows that bring in a whole lot of nostalgia where it yeah. doesn't bother me. And so uh, I actually am looking forward to that. I I kind of feel like that would show the depth of his character of Tommy Flanagan mm -hmm. to see him as a bad guy now after we've grown to love him so much from Sons of Anarchy. <laughs> I can see that. You know, what was that video game? Uh, I think it was Mafia 2 or something along those lines where, you know, you were the protagonist in one and then the next one you were like the antagonist of it. Um, yeah. In that video game. I think it was like, I think it was one of those Mafia games. But, I think uh, so. you know, that kind of actually, uh, you know, I, and I see. Well, even, point, the Borderlands, like, even the Borderlands games were kind of like that. Um, yeah. In Borderlands 2, you know, Handsome Jack was the bad guy, but in the pre-sequel, you know, you were working for him, so. Yeah, so I mean, you know, I can kind of understand exactly why people would be excited maybe to see that. Um, well, see, I might be a rarity. I don't know how many other, like, Sons of Anarchy fans are actually truly excited to see that as I am, but, see, and I'm that's my reasoning is to see the depth of Tommy Flanagan there to be able to play either or like see the one thing I'll tell you the reason why I'm a little bit hesitant with that idea is because of Star Wars and I know that's so far reaching of things but you know when they brought the main characters back to just kill them I think there was a you know there was a lot of fan rebellion about that yeah, I don't and know I think, how uh, people would feel about I, now, I, mean, I think that happy. I think that even if Chibs was the main bad guy mm -hmm. it's going to be really hard for fans to completely hate him like yeah, you know like, I would actually agree with you on that I think a lot of fans would probably almost root for him so I actually I, you know what I actually almost think that too in a way and I don't blame him maybe I would even be kind of that way too you know I don't really have a um, uh, I don't have a connection even though I do enjoy Mayans MC I don't really have a connection to the other members 
of of the Mayans too much, like Bishop well, or yeah, I, Coco. I'm kind of like, that I way too. Like Coco uh, a little bit, but you get past Angel, and for me, and I'm like, uh, if these people die off, they die off. Yeah, I mean that's kind of the way. Everybody was so upset when Riz died, and I was like, I was kind of like, eh. I think like, they were more upset with the way he died than the fact that he died. Like, see, I kind of almost saw that coming with Taz. I like, I felt like there was something he was trying to hide. He was going to do something that was really radical to uh, start a war. Like there was something that he was going to do. Because he has that, because he has that beef with his old club. I almost thought it was either going to be him or Coco, and I can understand Coco. Like you know, you know, they blinded him basically. So like, I can understand why he'd want payback. Yeah, see, I but, thought that too. I thought that Coco was going to be like, "Screw what Bishop says, I'm killing these some bitches." Like, but do you think that Bishop will? Do you think Bishop is going to pursue this? More in season three, or do you think that there's gonna? Do you think it's gonna go into open hostility for like the I whole think, season? I think. Actually, I think actually, actually, you know, looking back at the last couple episodes of uh, Mayans MC, I don't think Bishop ever planned on peace. I think he wanted them to believe he planned on that so that they could do that sneak attack. Like. You think that it was? So you think that it was orchestrated? Like he had orchestrated this behind the scenes that he was going to do it anyways. I do. I, I really do. I think that's why he was telling him, "Calm down." You know, I'm the president. I'm telling you not to go after them. I think he had a bigger agenda. Like I think he, I think he always had retaliation, but he was going to do it kind of a smart way. Mm-hmm where they would have the advantage I could see you see this is how I I, I saw it was Bishop wasn't going to do anything initially but he was going to you know wait until these deals were over with and then he was going to go after it or something like yeah, that and see, I, I think that he just wanted them to believe that I do mm -hmm. that's what I personally think but I mean, I mean, between a war between Bishop uh, and his crew, and you know, of course, you know, Sons of Anarchy, and, and yeah, that, and, that's uh, definitely that's to me that's there's no way to avoid that at this point. Yeah, I know, and, but I because mean, not know. only not only is Sons of Anarchy going to be mad that they killed one of their members, mm -hmm. but you got to think the Mayans MC are going to be mad because we had a truce and y'all were partying. One of your members was partying with the enemy. There's no way. Well, it technically wasn't the enemy of them. Like, it wasn't the enemy. Uh, I mean, they wanted Mayans to work with these guys. So it wasn't like that they were, you know. Yeah, and I know, think at that, at that very point, at that, at that very point when Chibs is basically like, no, we, we want you to squash this because. Mm -hmm. We need y'all to work with these guys. I think at that very point, Sons of Anarchy became Mayan's enemy right then. And these guys just shot us up, and you want us to be okay with them? That that can't happen. Like, like I mean, in your, you know, you know. So you think that? So you think that there's gonna be open escalation of the situation? And that's gonna make up the whole season, or do you believe that it's just gonna be? Like kind of like a side thing that's going on in the background. Like, how do you think it's going to go down necessarily? You think it's going to be open? I think there's. I think there's going to be. Oh, I think it's going to be open war between those two clubs, and I think the whole side thing is going to be between Angel and EZ and Galindo when he finds out they burnt his mom alive. Who do you? Well, just even between the war. Between Sons of Anarchy and and Mayans or SOA and Mayans, who do you like? Do you think there's gonna be like some major deaths? I mean, do you see like do you see like Happy dying, Tig dying? Uh, you know. Well, see, I don't know if they're gonna bring either. Tig in or not with him doing uh, his own show now. Uh, so, but I mean, do you see like any? Do you see any of these guys actually? You know, major deaths. I think we could. I think we really could. Like, but I don't know. That's that's see. That's up. In, I'm up in the air with stuff like that because of the whole Kurt Sutter not being a part yeah. of this season aspect. Like, if it was Kurt Sutter, I'd say, oh yeah, we're gonna have 
<laughs> multiple major deaths, you know. Yeah, I, I, I actually would agree with you. I don't think anybody actually would be safe, to be honest with you. Like, I no, mean, I mean look, look at the easy, original think, Sons of yeah, Anarchy. Uh, original Sons of Anarchy that, uh, you know, other than Jax, I don't think anyone was ever safe on that show. Like, yeah, I know. I, I actually agree. And there was sometimes that I almost kind of wondered if Jax was safe. How safe say. Jax was? Yeah, the, only I mean, reason, the only reason I said Jax was safe was because the ratings would have went down so bad because every female that watched that show would have quit watching it if Jax died. Yeah, but let's face it, they did kill Opie and a lot of women weren't too happy about that. I know my plan uh, a lot. A lot of men weren't too happy about that either. But that was one time that I actually yelled at the screen when I saw that happen. I was like, "No, no, no! You can't!" Yeah. I, like I didn't even believe that that happened. I, oh, dude, I almost quit watching right then. Like, I, I, was I was pissed. Like, well, I was pissed. Screw this show. I'm done. All but, right. You know. right. After Riz's de- after Taz had killed Riz, I think Taz is not going to make it. I would I don't be think so either. I, I could especially maybe... not especially not if the club finds out. Like. I want to say that Coco's not safe, but I do believe Coco will survive. See, um, I do. I think he is safe because I think they have a bigger storyline in store for him this season. I wonder if his daughter is safe, though. That would be kind of hard. Like, that would be something I could see that Matt would set him off. Or maybe, you know, where he would go off kind of on his own if something was to happen to his daughter. Like, well, I, I think he would. I think if something happens to his daughter, he's going to go completely psycho. Yeah, but I definitely but, think Taz is going to be. He's going to die. Yeah, like, I think I, so too. I just feel like he's I even. Gonna die. I even kind of think that they 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 could kill Chibs off this way. Like, mm, I can see. I I definitely believe Happy's probably going to die. I mean, on that I, side. See, uh, we're the exact opposite on that one. I don't think Happy's going nowhere. Really? You think Happy's going to stay there? You think I that think they would so. kill Chibs off more than Happy? I think so. Really? See, that's... Uh, see. Because, like, Chibs... Like, Happy has deeper connections with the Mayans MC than what Chibs does. Yeah. And I so think. I could see them killing Chibs off and Happy end up somehow becoming president mm-hmm. of Sons of Anarchy to keep that kind of going. Oh, I man, feel like be... I feel like now I do feel like that if they're gonna do this war between Sons of Anarchy and Mayans, that they're gonna have to bring in a lot of new characters for Sons of Anarchy for us mm-hmm. to, you know, actually get into in order to keep it going. You know, well, I kind of I kind of feel like um, kind of feel like if they killed Chibs the way that you're saying, I think. I would really kind of hold it against the show to a certain extent. Like, I don't know if I want Chibs to go out well, that way. See, I don't know. I, I don't see a point in Chibs much anymore. Really? See, I, I, I don't know. I still kind of have a little bit of a soft spot for him. I, I will admit. I know, wait, see, I'm, this is I one show. So this is one Abby. show. I feel like this is one show where you actually get hooked into the nostalgia a little bit more than yes, I do. You know, I, I in do certain ways. Like, I loved and, and it's mainly because... Look, Mayans MC is a good show. It is a show I'd watch even if I had never seen uh, Sons of Anarchy. But let's face it, uh, Sons of Anarchy is the thing that got me addicted to these kind of series. I mean, yeah, yeah. I, mean, so, I, I uh, see my thing, and this is me personally, mm-hmm. is I have more. I don't know. I'm more invested in Mayans than I was Sons of Anarchy. Mm-hmm. Like, and yeah, what I mean is, I yeah, and I was for the longest time as well, but I started to look at it as there's a lot more characters on Mayans that I kind of want to know more about than there was. Like, I mean, as far as minor characters go, like minor characters of Sons of Anarchy, I never cared about. Never cared about. Yeah. Like, anything could have happened to Juice, I wouldn't have cared. See, I was polar opposite. I, I loved every single one from Bobby to Juice. To see, I did. I wasn't. I wasn't I, one that was. See, I, and I wasn't one that was big upset when Bobby died. Like, see, I was. Heart, I was heartbroken when Bobby died. Like that bothered me. It didn't bother me as bad as when Opie died, but it still bothered me. Like, I was like, why? Like, why do that to Bobby? Like, out of all the characters to do that with Bob, to do that to Bobby, 
Um, Juice, it didn't hurt me so much when he died. Um, it just, I don't know. Well, I kind of felt well, like I, it, was, it didn't it hurt me when Juice died thing. at all because I was like, that's a mercy kill. At yeah, point. at that point, yeah. I mean, yeah. I agree with that. But, <laughs> He's okay, been through so much at this point, so. But let's go to the let's go to the cartel. Okay. And see, the thing, the, one more thing about that is like, mm-hmm. Clay dying bothered me more than I expected it to. Didn't me too. So. I will say that where with this, I really, like I said, I really think that me, I look at it like this is, you know, I got to let go of my Sons of Anarchy ties because this is not Sons of Anarchy. You kind of got to root for the minds at this point. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, I get, so. I get that too. But I mean, uh, so let's go to the cartel. All right, so what do you think that Mayans and the cartel, like, do you think that they're going to be in open conflict or do you believe that? I think uh, that they're gonna work together still. I think that they're gonna work together until Galindo finds everything out. I actually think Galindo's gonna die this season. I don't think he's gonna make it. I don't know. I, I see. Um, that's another thing. See, there's so many things where I'm kind of I have mixed feelings about when it comes to Mayans, and that's why it's one of my favorite shows. Mm-hmm. Is I kind of see them. They could either, like you said, he could die. And at this point, I wouldn't care. But they could also twist it and make him a lot more interesting of a character and keep him alive. Like, my whole deal with Galindo throughout the show so far is I'm like, he's pretty weak to be the leader of the cartel. Mm -hmm. But his mom dying might set him over. Like, that might be what makes him a brutal son of a... (laughs) I just believe that this is going to be the season that you're going to see Emily take charge of this I no, I don't. Mean, I don't think that's gonna happen at all. Like, uh, because okay. that would just be well, that would be too unbelievable. Well, let me let me let me just tell you the reason why I think that. I don't think it'd be unbelievable at all. And I'll tell. You, let me tell you the reason why. This is what I think will happen. I think. I think you're right. I think it's gonna make Galindo more brutal. His mother's death gonna be more brutal. I think he's gonna go and maybe try to kill. Uh, uh, try to kill Easy, and I think that's where Emily's going to kill him. I believe okay. Nestor is now. Going, or either. Hold on. Uh, let, let me just say this real quick. I believe that it's either going to be Emily that kills him or Alvarez that's going to kill him. Okay. Yeah, I, I can see that happening. But my thing is with Alvarez too, though. Mm-hmm. He told Easy. He warned him. You better not be lying. Mm-hmm. But and. Know. He's not He's not just a president of a charter of that club anymore. He's the godfather. Do you, be, do you believe that his ties with Mayans uh, don't run that deep? I mean, do you think that he would betray them? Like no, I don't. Or... But see, I don't think that would be an act of betrayal, though, because they went off on their own and did that shit to an ally. Mm-hmm. So I don't think it would be a betrayal to the uh, club. I think that would be something else. And it's not like Alvarez didn't warn him. Alvarez warned him. That's what I'm saying. You know, more of a per. That could be you. I could see that where you could say, "Well, that's a personal thing more than it's a club thing." Maybe. Yeah. He would almost be helping Mayans out by taking them out to a certain extent. Yeah, because you're bringing bad publicity basically for our club, you know, unneeded war. And now, I will say this, even if Emily did kill Glendo, which that might be, you know, you might be right about that, she's not going to take over the cartel, is what I was getting at. I think it'll be Nestro. You think it'll be Nestro that's going to take yeah. over? Well, yeah. See, I don't, see, I actually think he's probably going to, see, in my view, I think he's going to die. I think if Galindo doesn't make it, I think Nestor's got to die. I, I just feel like he's got to die. I don't See, my that, thing is, you know, they could completely twist that too, and Nestor could be the one that kills Galindo because I was your right hand, and then you went and hired Alvarez. You know, see, I You kind of shit on me in that aspect, you know? See, I kind of look at Alvarez as kind of like a double edge to a certain extent that, I, I, could, I, you know, I, I could see we did a Alvarez video about that and, and, Nestor, and then out and then Galindo kill Nestor and then that could be a possibility too like there's so many possibilities with this season and we did a video 
a while back about Alvarez being the double agent. Yeah, and and I really believe that's still a real big possibility. I, 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 I definitely think away. that. I think that. I think that he hung up his Mayans thing to keep an eye on the cartel. Mm-hmm. Oh, and, like, and, uh, and and remember, he wiped away the tracks. But that's not to say he's not gonna be. When he finds out what Angel Easy did, yeah, I mean, just because I'm, I'm covered say, yeah. for you, don't mean I'm agreeing with your actions. Yeah, but that woman, look, she was gonna kill herself anyway. I didn't understand. See, I'll admit that was probably one of my least favorite parts of of this last season. Is I didn't really understand where this was going and why this really needed to be in the first place. Like. um I feel like Galindo didn't need to be, uh, you know, you know, brothers to Easy and Angel. I just felt like that just didn't need to really happen. Unless uh, it's it gonna add an extra uh, layer to him. Or well, something. unless it's gonna play a bigger role in what actually goes down in this season, you know. Yeah. I if mean, he finds out they're his brothers, how's he gonna react to them? <laughs> I mean, but they still killed his mom. I don't. Yeah, see I'm him, sorry. Like, I don't see him letting that go. Um, just like I didn't, I, I was kind of almost shocked that Easy killed uh, uh, out of uh, uh, Glendo's mom. Like I now, thought that they were going to be like say, this woman's crazy. I'm, I'd rather just let her live. I'm, I, I want to say that what might happen there is him find out that they were brothers somehow, mm-hmm. get starting to build a relationship with them, and then find out they killed his mom, and then that would bring in a kind of like a turmoil type. Like, I don't ever see Galindo having a relationship with Easy simply because of the connection to, to Emily. Yeah, that might be an issue. Like, I, I you mean, know. I could maybe see it if it was just Angel. I might could see that a little bit, but not with Easy. I feel like there's too many things about Easy he's like really distrustful for. But I actually, you know, see, that's where you and I disagree big time. I think by the end of this season, Emily's going to be in charge. I think she's going to be in charge of this whole thing. I think that's what they were setting her up for. I mean, you can see the change in her. Um, mm. I, I uh, can see that happening. I don't know. I just, it wouldn't be But you very... think it's going But you think it's going to be Nestor, though. I mean, that's kind of, to me, that's kind of shocking in a way. See, I never looked at Nestor as being someone that would be I don't think he would be that much different as the head of the cartel as much as... Well, he was, you know, he was more uh, violent in the first season than Galindo's been throughout the whole show, so... Well, it's because... I mean, that's not saying a whole lot, lot, but... He was a soldier that uh, was, you know, of course, he he would follow Galindo into the fire, basically. Well, and that's where I think things have changed, though. You do? Because, like I said, I was supposed to be your right hand. I did everything for you. And you kind of just, like, demoted me to hire Marcus Alvarez. Yeah, and I get that. I, I do get that. I could, I could see how that would, um, you know, that would piss him off. But there was some moments in last season where him and Galindo are talking, and it's just kind of like, it seemed like they were good in a lot of ways. And who and who's to say that Galindo didn't hire Marcus to keep tabs on the Mayans too? I mean, you know, you never know what they're gonna do. You it's never, you never know what's gonna happen with the change of the direction that we're fist in the face when it comes to Mayans MC. Because this is all things that Kurt Sutter set in place. Mm-hmm. The showrunners might completely change this. I think, and, and, and I'll be honest with you, and this is kind of like maybe the PC version of it, I think that's the reason. I think in this day and age, somebody like Emily taking charge, I think would work for FX. I don't know if it would work for Kurt Sutter, but I think it would work for FX. Just just because she's a female. I really actually kind of believe that. Not because she might be the best you know, one or whatever. You know what? I would believe it if she was a Hispanic female. I could do that too, and and you know what, uh, Adelita, um, I could see her maybe taking over something. I mean, I think that's I just, I just don't see a bunch her. of I don't see a bunch of cartel members, Hispanic cartel members, following a white female's orders. I could see that. I, I could see how uh, 
Well, I mean, you got to think about it. I mean, there's, you know, um, she's a, just as much a part of that car. I mean, she is and she's not. She, did, she, she didn't grow up in that world quite like, um, quite like you know, of course, Galindo did. I mean, my I could, issue. I well, Galindo, did, I don't know. Galindo didn't really grow up in it either because, like, yeah. he went to college and everything, and then when his dad died, he decided to get in it. Like, see, I could, I could see, I see. You know, you're saying that about Emily, but I can even go so far as say Galindo's that way too. Like, I, I'm shocked that they follow Galindo. To be honest, because he seems kind of weak in my book. Like, I don't. He, he don't. Well, yeah, that's, that's been my issue with him from the jump. Is like. Look, man, you're the head of the Galindo cartel. Your your wife is secretly meeting up with her high school boyfriend, and yet he's still alive. Yeah, I know. I know. I mean, that alone is enough <laughs> for me to think. Well, he's pretty weak. Like yeah, he could that's... go in there and take out. He could go out there and take out Easy anytime he wanted to. In fact, he could just. He can even go to the club and tell them to take out Easy. And I think that they would simply because. Uh, you know, hey, he'd be like, hey, he's he's messing with my wife, and if y'all now do I do, this, I do want to see what's in store. I do want to see what's in store as far as now Easy is a officially a patch member instead of just a prospect. I do kind of want to see what that's going to entail. You know, do you think that Easy will ever rise up to the to the position that Bishop's in right now? No. You don't think you, no. don't, you don't see that in his future? I don't. See, I mean, the, the show might do it because that's what they want, but I don't see leader qualities at easy. See, <laughs> I don't see. That's the. I kind of agree with you on that one because I. Um, but it seems like that show. It's like they haven't built much of a repertoire between Easy and the other ones in Mayans. Like, I mean, Coco, he's got a relationship with. But as far as like Bishop and all that, there's not a strong relationship there. That yeah, you know, it's they like um, he's got a relationship with Coco and Angel. That's about it. Like you know, you know, I, you know take Jax for instance. Jax was like you know he had Bobby, he had even Tig to a certain extent. Like then was well, the yeah, but that's that the, that's a, the, but the see that's the thing too when we. When, okay, when we start watching Mayans, Easy's a prospect. Mm -hmm. When we start watching Sons of Anarchy, Jackson's already the vice president. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, yeah, he's gonna already have those relationships built. Where if he's that high up, where Easy's gonna have to earn that. Do you think Angel will live past this season? I think he better. Or I'm gonna quit watching it. <laughs> you know what? I can maybe see. Uh, I don't see him dying. I, I'm like you. I don't see him dying, uh, but I see him causing a lot of problems for Mayans um, uh, this season. I could see that because he could. he's gonna get his kid back one way or the other. It well, doesn't matter. You're damn Mayans right. Anymore. You know, and I I don't blame him for that one. But yeah, I don't either. But I'll tell you this one thing, and this is just me, and this is just kind of maybe a little off topic. I don't like the way Felipe uh, behaved towards. Uh, Angel when he told him that you know he had a son I didn't like that I didn't like the way Felipe what do you mean when he was just basically like oh well yeah I know he's just like so bland about it I don't like Felipe too much I, I'm not a big fan I mean I like the guy that plays him but as far as like he's got something like evil inside of him like it, it, it's something that they've kind of showed to a certain extent like He's got a really, really bad temper. I could see him working for a cartel and actually being somebody that could be really good at his job. I could well, see yeah. him almost and being like a Nestor. I, right I didn't there, like that. I didn't like how he he treated Angel and Easy. Period. Like Easy was this golden child, but Angel wasn't shit because he went to a, a motorcycle a gang. Fun. But yet you worked for the cartel. Like I mean. I kind of felt like I kind of almost felt like they didn't it's, it's just it's like they went across the border and he's like well now we're safe because we're like I don't know 20 miles from where we were I'm like that that, that just seems so the whole story where you know uh, uh, Glendo's bomb finds him and all that I was like 
Because she just went to the next town over, basically, and found it. Like, it wasn't like she went to, uh, it wasn't like she went to, like, Nebraska or someplace like that. I yeah, know, I'm I mean, trying to get away from the cartel. I'm getting far away from the cartel. I'm moving to Canada or someplace like that. Yeah, like Germany I'm or something. <laughs> over. Like, I, I, like, I had a problem with that. I had a problem with that because it just didn't seem realistic. You know, you go to the, uh, the trouble of changing your name. You go to the trouble of just trying to make this new life, and then you don't, you don't even get far enough away where that the cartel could find you at a carnival. Like, like that just kind of. Yeah, I, so I definitely. There's a lot of things that I, I just don't know what to expect, honestly. Mm -hmm. But I am looking forward to kind of figuring it out. All right. So overall, you think you you agree with me that you think probably Taz is probably going to die this season. I think he would have to. I mean, I just... And you, and, and you even believe Chibs is going to die? I don't know if he will. I just, I think he could. See, um, and you think Happy will live? I do think Happy will See, live. I think, I think Happy will die. I would be kind of pissed that they killed off Chibs to a certain extent. Um, yeah, I would. And that's simply because of nostalgia. <laughs> simply because of nostalgia. It has nothing to do with anything besides... Anything else? Just being honest. <laughs> yeah, uh, so, uh, I would see. I would. I would be. I think I would be more upset if they killed off Happy than I would Chibs. Mm -hmm. What do you believe that? And and you believe Glendo's gonna live or die? Oh, that's. I don't know, man. That's rough. Uh, uh I think he'll live, though. I think he'll live for at least another season. I think Galindo's gonna die, and I think Nestor's gonna die too. I think that I think that if Galindo dies, it'll be the finale. Really? Yeah, I actually believe that too. But I think Galindo's gonna die. I think Nestor's gonna die, and I think Emily's gonna take over. You believe Nestor will take over if uh, uh, if if Glendo dies, right? Well, somebody. I don't think it'll be Emily. You don't think it'll be Emily? Expe I just feel like I mean, setting up Emily too much for things. Um, she's going to be evil and she's going to try to take over something. I wouldn't even be shocked if she's the one to kill Glenda. Like, like I would if Glenda yeah, that wouldn't shock like me either. But if the thing is, if Glenda dies, we're going to get the whole Jackson Terry thing again between Emily and EZ for sure. But would that shock you if you did? No, it wouldn't shock me, but I wouldn't want to I see that. I wouldn't want like. it either. I, I, I remember the very first episode of this with Easy and uh, uh, Emily, and I was like, no. I was like, here we go God, again. No. Yeah, I was like, Tara was my least favorite character off of uh, Sons of Anarchy. Hated her from beginning to end. Uh, I was actually, you know, I was on Gemma's side when she stabbed her in the back of the head. I was like, yeah, I go to her. Should have done that like four seasons ago. <laughs> but, uh, but See, oh, I didn't. Uh, I didn't bother Tara. I, Tara didn't bother me the first season, but after that, I was like, "Oh God!" Yeah, I know. But I mean, so overall, I mean, of course, you, and, and you believe that uh, Angel's gonna get his son back, though, right? I think he will. He'll die trying. Yeah, no, I know. You know. Uh, right, and well, I do think it's gonna be like. I don't care what the club tells me. I'm going after my kid. That's kind of the way I kind of feel towards it. I kind of feel like there's no... Uh, he. I feel like he's going to cause a lot of problems for the club simply because uh, he's going to try to get his son back. And he, I believe in the end he'll, he'll be successful. I actually think maybe Adelita could die, though. I could actually maybe see that. I, you know, but I'd still be kind I of can see that shocking. too. But if she gets out of, she gets out of their custody, I could actually see her kind of taking over the cartel. You know what? Stranger things have happened. I think she would actually be a really good fit for that. Um, but I think it. I think either way, I think there might be a little bit of break between Angel and Mayans this season. To a certain extent, I don't believe it's going to be a fracture, well, but I believe you know, it's going to be at I, least I, temporary I, I, break. I would agree with that because there was almost that in the last season. Yes, yeah, when he got into that uh, fight with Bishop. Yeah, I mean, I mean, so I could see that. I I think Easy's going to take the same course that Easy's taken. He's going to be in love with Emily, and that's going to probably be his entire thing. That along with Lincoln Potter. Uh, I think Lincoln Potter's probably going to die this season. 
I would be shocked if he lives. I mean, what do you think on that? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I thought he was going to die in Sons of Anarchy, and he somehow got out of it. But I, I just, I just feel like he's going to die. I feel like, I feel like maybe we could even see, uh, 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 see Angel do something to his kid. And that yeah, I definitely think bad. that's coming. I definitely think that's coming. I think Angel's going to go get his kid. Yeah, I mean, and that would be that would be kind of interesting. Look, I don't know if I would he, like he, that necessarily, he, but I could see it happening. Look, he done threatened him once with it, and then, and then yeah. he took his kid. So now he's probably going to be like, all right, I yeah. want you, bitch. Yeah, I know. I mean, and, and you know what? I wouldn't blame him necessarily. Uh, because I he wouldn't did either. Warn him. Uh, I don't think he'll. I don't think he'll go and hurt that guy's kid, but I think he'll use him as leverage to get his kid back for I, sure. I think it would be really, and this is just my take on it. And this is my not a theory. Uh, it's not something I believe will happen. I would love it if Easy and Angel find themselves on opposite sides. I would love that, and I would love that that continue in the show. I don't believe it'll happen. But I I, I I don't know if I it'll happen it. this season, but I could see that going that way towards later seasons, you know. You never know. I mean, I would be up for it. Uh, but overall, I think, uh, yeah, like I said, I think Easy Story is just going to go the way it's done. I feel like Angel's going to get his kid back. I feel like maybe Bishop could die. Um, uh, Coco, doubtful, but... I still think I think Coco. I think, think his daughter will, will die. You think his daughter will die? I do think that. See, I'm still on the fence about that. Uh, I think it, his daughter's either going to die or either he's going to build. She's going to either be a bigger part of season three, and um, and maybe that's when she does die is when she becomes a bigger part of season three and they get closer and then something happens to her and then of course he goes off the deep end with that. Um, so I mean, maybe you, we could see a Tig-like figure in Coco. You think? I've kind of always felt like that was their version of Tig. Oh, you know? it definitely, it's their version of Tig. But do you see maybe something like that happening? Yeah, it could. Yeah, I think it. I think it will. I mean, but overall, I mean, I, I, that's my expectations for this show. Like, I I think Glenda's gonna die. I think Easy's gonna go on the same path he's always been. I feel like I feel like Angel's gonna get his kid back and Lincoln's gonna die. I mean that Lincoln Potter's gonna nah. die. I would agree with most of these theories, but we'll have to wait and find out. Hey, but hey, cannot wait. What is it? March sixteenth. March sixteenth. March sixteenth. I mean, been sixteen months. Um, let me. What's just, two more? Yeah, I know. What's two more? <laughs> You know, that's all. That's the thing that always hurts me, though, is like, you know, when you find out and they're like release date, and then you're like, oh man, I've already waited a year and I've got to wait another two now months. Now it's good. This. It's going to be like a total of a year and a half in between season two and season three. Hey, I'm just glad that it's back. Because that's I me. That's me. I was, yeah, I was getting really worried. Yeah, I was too. But so I'm just glad it's back. I can wait till March sixteenth, but we're definitely definitely going to do um, uh, episode reviews here of Mayans MC here on Rants or Us. So mm -hmm. guys, look forward to that. And as always, guys, thank y'all for watching, and y'all take care. <laughs>